At the 2012 Grammys, Nicki Minaj had a mock exorcism performed on her and later claimed that she did it to prove that the demon that possesses her That involved women being locked in cages with a black bunny mask on while simultaneously making an incision in their wrist as a blood sacrifice. That message was all wrapped up in a beat, right? Y'all get so hooked onto these beats and it's like demonic. You're listening to demonic stuff and you wonder why you don't know what's going on. Right? Hey, Jazzery family. Hey, everybody. What's going on? So we thank you for subscribing. Those who've been subscribing. Thank you for watching. Those who come back to watch us. May God bless you. God bless you. If you haven't, hit that like button and subscribe. Be part of our family. Yes. And today we are talking about the rituals in circular music. You may think it's a joke, but this stuff is as real. As real as we're speaking to you now. If you don't believe us, watch what we're about to show you. I used to watch circular music, and I think it reached a point where I just realized that I have to stop after watching the videos. Sometimes you listen to the just the audio and the beats, you forget that some of these things are not really godly. Yeah, this agenda music got a purpose. I mean, we know Satan tries to imitate God. Lucifer was the author of music. He was over music in heaven at one time so you don't think he's not going to use it for his benefit here on earth yes and remember this when we do worship music we feel that music it draws us closer to god we glorify god we praise god miracles happen when we do music you know when we praise god using music there are people who get healed there are people who worship and start speaking in tongues there are people who worship and see miraculous happenings, you know? Things happen during worship. So imagine what happens when this music is not godly. But let you on a secret, God still wins. Let's watch these videos without further ado so that we don't keep you with our talk and see what we are talking about. Watch this. Like that, and I say, boom, got the Bible on the back, I say, man. As a jit coming up, me and my niggas, the old heads, I used to be grabbing a loop. Huh? Hey, but I, you know what I'm coming saying? Coming up I'm here? Say, you know what I'm not saying? The, not like the people that pee the on themselves. Spiritual world is real. I cut I chickens and goats, movie. nigga. And that's how I beat the case, if you really want to know. Wait, say that again? Say that again? Say it again? I cut chickens and goats, if you really want to know. Santeria, make some noise for being <laughs> voodoo. Listen, voodoo. In a nutshell, I just want to You know Capone is Haitian. Now, I mean, I know you done had a few near-death experiences. Yeah. And my question would be, is it because you had the Bible on the dash that you survived? Um, yeah, I got to say it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and, and, and the voodoo that I do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I done seen the voodoo. The, the, the goats I sacrificed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the chickens and the hens and the pigeons and the doves. You know what I mean? And my Orishas, Shango, Epi, Egun. You know what it is. Nowadays, these labels, they crunch the numbers. They figure out what works. What brings them money? What does it? Rappers getting locked up mm -hmm. and rappers dying are two of the biggest money promotions makers. as yeah. far as money makers Correct. for labels. Now, I've spoken to a lot of independent artists. Shout out to Source Walker. One of the things that he told me when I said, yo, he said, yo, Jay, Jay been trying to sign me. I'm like, yo, why wouldn't you sign? He said, because I don't want a label playing with my life. Mm -hmm. That's facts. That's bad. That's real. That means nah. playing with, okay, because, because I'm going to explore. That means playing with your butt. You know <laughs> No, listen, because, no, I'll be honest, look, because I've been doing music. <laughs> no, because I feel like we got we to gotta put it out there. You know what I mean? And I think, I think a lot of, no, oh, listen. Oh, no, oh, listen, because I feel like. That's not what he meant, by the way. Oh, right, no, no, listen, what meant, I'm, not what meant. I'm not saying what he meant. I'm just saying in general, because I feel. That's not what he meant, by the way. Oh, right, no, no, listen, what meant, I'm not saying what he meant. I'm just saying in general, because I feel like a lot of people, like, I had like two record deals, right? Mm -hmm. And. They wanted your butt? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 w
Yeah, nobody never played with my butt. But what happens is you see no butt after that last part. You you period that and then you yeah, move on to the next sentence. Yeah, nobody never did. Yeah, like, nah, right. I mean, but listen, no, but listen. What I'm saying is, so you see, they're not hiding. The first video we saw, this guy said that he was cutting chickens and goats to sell his music. I mean, he had to do those kind of rituals. Yeah. And the others were like clapping, you know, trying to clap, but it's like yeah. that shame, you know, where they are clapping. They're not even telling you why would you do that, but yeah. they are kind of telling you it's okay. That's not a big deal. Yeah, do what you got to do to make money. Yes. That's what he's telling him. Yeah. You did voodoo. Okay. That's okay. And you know, that is another world. That is inviting the, the demonic powers. You know, when you do those kind of things. Yeah, who do you think who do you think that the, the sacrifice is going to? Yeah. You think it's just going to the visible air? Mm -hmm. No. It's going to Satan. I mean, if you want to believe it or not, that's up to you, but it's the truth. Going to a gods. You know, those yeah. gods you're trying to appease. And that's what they used to do. Remember the Israelites when they built the calf and they did sacrifices on that calf. So that is almost the same thing. And God was not happy with them, actually. And some died during that time. And that's what people are doing now. And they take it as normal. And they tell you out here so that other people can think it's a normal thing. But it's not normal. Yeah. They be like, we're sacrifice to this God, Moloch, or this God. Don't they realize that these gods are mm -hmm. demons? Mm -hmm. Those gods have forms. Whether you want to believe that or not, too, they have forms. Why else would they do it? Why else would, would they say we're saying price or we sold our soul to the devil? And then you listen to this music and you are opening a door to those demons in your house, in your car, you know, because they've already opened that door. You don't know when they sacrificed. What did they, what was the contract? Because there has to be a contract. What, are, what do you want out of this music? There are things they can't reveal maybe which are deeper than that. Yeah, that is just because it was a goat and a chicken. But more, than, what did you guys discuss? They can't tell you that. That's why we are saying, be careful. Look at the artist, who you listen to, and this circular music. Yeah, take the time one day, just read, read the lyrics. I'm sure- And it, watch the video. Yeah, watch the video and read the lyrics. I'm sure you'll be shocked. I mean, a lot of times, I used to love secular music, whether it be rap, rock, country, a lot of times I made my own words up because I didn't really didn't know the words. But when I got to reading the words, it's like, wow, they really said that? They couldn't have meant that, could they? No way. But but they did. And I was shocked. And the other video, they were talking about the rituals where they are turned into homosexuals, you know, like gay men. And these people are straight, but yeah. they have to do that. It's like a humiliation ritual, you know? For them to sell their records and for them to be maybe to be for this company to record their music and to promote them can you imagine that and these things happen and then you see somebody walking can you imagine you're walking and thinking that you did that yeah a few years ago he's like did i really just do that yeah and you you have to do that that's a ritual so let's see the the next video now look at that so that is Lil Nas. He made shoes from Ni like a Nike company. And then he wrote Luke 10, 18. What, what, what did he, he says, say? He I've seen Satan fall from heaven like lightning. And then there he was playing with Satan in that video. What would you think would happen if, if I put on a John 3, 16? You think it'd sell out in, in three minutes, five minutes? They, they banned me. They banned the shoes. This is, this is not right. This is not giving people freedom hate speech i mean say but once you say satan shoes and it has human blood everybody buys everybody it buys. and that is a spell it's like casting a spell that's why everybody's buying it they say that it's sold out in under a minute if you've reached this point please like subscribe and share this video to as many people as as you can so that we can reach many people who have the same beliefs as yes. us we are going to watch this documentary about the Grammys and just watch and tell us what you think. Yeah, leave a comment down below and tell us what you thought.
Yes. At the 2012 Grammys, Nicki Minaj had a mock exorcism performed on her and later claimed that she did it to prove that the demon that possesses her, which she claims is sexually perverted and calls Roman, is too powerful to be cast out. At the 2014 Grammys, Katy Perry performed Dark Horse with a performance of what appeared to be a witch's Sabbath with Satan and demons glorifying her. Incredibly, Madonna came out with all kinds of devil-horned demons appearing to worship her as she sang her song, Living for Love. She went so far as to use mock Christian imagery with a choir singing in the background while she sang about being born again and on my knees in the dark and then like Satan himself about falling from heaven as she's depicted as falling from heaven on the Grammy stage. She or the demon channeling her now appears to be living for the love it can get from its worshipful fans. Not to be outdone in devil worship, ACDC sang their ode to Satan, Highway to Hell. Before millions of people in what is supposed to be family entertainment, they sang I'm on a highway to hell and about selling their souls to Satan for fame and success when they sang Hey Satan paid my dues playing in a rockin' band. Of course the song goes on to state I'm going down, all the way down, I'm on a highway to hell. The artists, songwriters, and performers have continued to push forth is the normalization of God-hating in the form of modern day Satanism. In fact, a recent study in the UK showed that Satanism is the new trendy religion and that many of the young people are turning away from what they believe is old rigid religion into a new wave of do what thou wilt in theory and practice. Over in the United States, it isn't looking any better. In speaking of a Salon article praising Satanism, one writer attempted to show how Satanism is indeed everywhere in our culture and how we got to a place where worshiping Satan is now normative in the US. As you can see, they do it publicly. Yeah, there's no hiding anymore. Everything's in full sight, right in your face. People just don't care anymore. And they're like, if it's God, though, it, it'd be banned. But it's like people in, fell in love with Satan, like it's somebody to love. Yeah, so, and you know that Satan comes, uh, has agents. So people, Satan doesn't come in that uh, form of a. Uh, he don't come with horns. Horns and all that. He comes as angel of light. Yeah. So you can see somebody talking and the devil or Satan is inside them. So they, they can come in form of a human being talking to you. They don't come in form of a devil because they know that will scare people, yep. you know. So and also listen to this. Let's listen to this atheist too, who is going to tell us about this event that he went to that changed his life and he decided to give his life to Christ. Extended an invitation to join one of his after hour events. As I ask for more details, he proceeds to show me a demo reel of a video that he made of the event. All of a sudden, I'm now looking at a satanic ritual that involved women being locked in cages with a black bunny mask on while simultaneously making an incision in their wrist as a blood sacrifice to the devil. Soon I realized that the warehouse that I was in to make music was a location for satanic swinger parties where ritualistic sacrifices happen regularly. Regularly. When I started to dig deeper into Hollywood's affiliation with Satanism, I started to realize that the devil was not some fictional character that represented evil, but an actual living creature that has most of humanity enslaved. Wow, this further challenged my atheistic worldview and ultimately led me to do deep research about Jesus Christ. The evidence of Jesus' existence and resurrection soon became undeniable, and I made a personal decision to denounce my atheism. This goes to prove to me that God can use anything to, to push you to Jesus. He can use anything, even even this. This guy thought he was going there just to make music and become famous, but in, in the end, he thought it was craziness and it pushed him to Jesus. He's like, I don't want a part of this at all. Yes, and that's how he gave his life to Christ. When somebody speaks, when somebody sings, when somebody writes, there is a form of impartation that takes place to the listener and to the reader. If you're listening, reading to someone who carries love for Jesus, you will begin to feel the warmth of that and these desires will begin to be rekindled in you. If you listen, if you watch to things that have lust, that have uh, spells, that have witchcraft, your mind will slowly get desensitized because you're looking at these people like, man, they're normal, they're good, they're famous. And if they like this stuff, it must not be that bad and then slowly once the enemy desensitizes you it's like that cooking of that frog then after a while you become a person that goes on the lure that goes on the hook of the enemy when you aim to please God then a lot of offers that come my way I don't even I don't even have to think about 
You know, one of my one of my dear friends who have gone on to gone on to be with the Lord, praise God. Um, uh, and she was so famous. She was so famous. And she let me know that I really didn't want to be famous uh, was Whitney Houston. Right. She was my dear sister and friend. And and I remember she was about to do one of her big videos. And uh, it was I'm Every Woman. It's a great video. Right. Really nice. Good, good. The song is, um, when you think about how it was written, it's a great song, right? But the lyrics don't line up with the word of God, right? So she knew, she said, Cece, I want you to be in this video, but I know you're not going to be in it. I said, you're absolutely right. Because it started off with, I could cast a spell. I'm not singing that. But, but notice how that message was all wrapped up in the beat, right? Y'all get so hooked onto these beats, and it's like demonic. You're listening to demonic stuff and you wonder why you don't know what's going on. Right? <laughs> you can't listen and look at everything. God say you're either for me or you're against me. You're either with me or you're not. The biggest deception is the, the devil make you think it's an in-between. Show me a scripture that says there's an in-between. Some of these things you need to pray about so that God can help you stop liking this music it took me some time and i was able yeah. to i didn't know i would but i was able to yeah because i listened to secular music for years and years whether it be rock rap heavy yes. metal i was big in the music i used to love country music i was big in the music but now i i can't even i used to listen to that stuff at all like i'll listen to an artist and I love their music. When I looked at the video, there was this coffin and the cross was upside down. I was like, what? This is the way the video, what's going on in this video? And that prompted me to stop, you know? But it took me time, I prayed about it, I can't believe it. And sometimes I, I, I hear people playing circular music and it doesn't move me like it used to, you know? So this is something that you can pray about, you know? If you feel like you really need to leave listening to it this is why i said pray about it because if, if it's not glorifying god then who's it glorified it's yeah. the only two in this world it's going to glorify god is going to glorify satan and what would you seen got nothing to do with god if you it has a video watch it because sometimes it's entertainment and then when you watch the video it's totally different from what you thought so make sure you do your research that is what i can say do your research and tell us, we would like to really hear from you what you what you think about this. Absolutely. Comment and tell us what you thought. So thank you for watching. Thanks. God bless. God bless you. Like, share, and subscribe.